entrance antiphon receive the joy of your glory giving thanks to god who has called you into the heavenly kingdom alleluia we are gathered together in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen peace be with you all and with your spirit today we we are in the second sunday of uh, easter and we celebrate today the divine mercy sunday the readings for this sunday are about god's divine mercy given to us through the sacrament of uh, reconciliation our need for trusting faith and our need for forgiveness of our sins today's opening prayer addresses the father as god of everlasting mercy in the first section of the responsorial psalm psalm number 118 we repeat three times his mercy endures forever god revealed his mercy first and foremost by sending his only begotten son to become our savior and lord by his suffering death and resurrection divine mercy is given to us also in each celebration of the sacraments which were instituted to sanctify each one of us today as we celebrate the second sunday of easter and this great feast of uh, divine mercy we ask the lord during this eucharist for his mercy and also the graces to become merciful ourselves towards the others trusting in love mercy and forgiveness of the lord we consider those actions words and behaviors which were sinful and wrong lord jesus you have brought us the treasures of the love of the father lord have mercy lord have mercy jesus christ By your death you have won for us the treasures of forgiveness and life. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have left us in the Eucharist the treasure of your presence and strength. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The heart of God, our Father is full of mercy and goodness. Therefore we are able to pray May the almighty God have mercy on us. Amen. Grant us his pardon, forgive forgive us our sins and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. The almighty God has wonderfully created man and he has even more wonderfully recreated us by Jesus deeds of salvation. Let us give thanks to God for his love and divine mercy by reciting the gloria glory to god in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king o god almighty father lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father You take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the father amen let us pray God of everlasting mercy who in the very recurrence of the paschal feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own increase we pray the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand 
in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 42 to 47. Those who welcomed the message of Peter were baptized, and many were added to the community. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. All came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all, as they had need. Day by day, they spent much time together in the temple. They broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the good will of all the people. And by day, and day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. Our response is, give thanks for the Lord is good. God's love is everlasting. Give thanks thanks for, for the Lord is good. good. God's love is everlasting. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks, for the Lord is good. God's love is everlasting. I was pushed hard so that I was failing, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. They are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. Give thanks, for the Lord is good. God's love is everlasting. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our, in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Give thanks, for the Lord is good. God's love is everlasting. The second reading, first letter of Peter, chapter 1, verse 3 to 9. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by the great mercy he has given us a new birth into the living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, a birth into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more previous than God, that through that though perishable, is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy, for you are receiving the outcome of your faith the salvation of your souls. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah. 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 
Jesus said to him, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John chapter 20, verse 19 to 31. It was evening on the day Jesus rose from the dead, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jewish authorities. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and he said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails, and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we have uh, heard, we have read about Saint uh, Faustina, and we have seen and prayed before the image of Divine Mercy. Saint Faustina of Poland is well known apostle of Divine Mercy. On the 30th of April in the year 2000 at 10 a.m. on the second Sunday of Easter, which uh, we call today Divine Mercy Sunday, this feast was requested by Jesus in his communications with Saint Faustina. Pope uh, John Paul II celebrated the Eucharist in St. Peter's Choir and proceeded to canonize Blessed Sister Faustina. And on the same day, John Paul II also was canonized in, on April 27th in the year 2014 by Pope Francis. 
Saint Faustina invites us by the witness of her life to keep our faith and hope fixed on God the Father, rich in mercy, who saved us by the precious blood of his only begotten Son. During her short life, the Lord Jesus assigned to Saint Faustina three basic tasks. Number one, to pray for souls, entrusting them to God's incomprehensible mercy. Secondly, to tell the world about God's generous mercy. And thirdly, to start a new movement in the church, focusing on God's mercy. At the canonization of uh, Saint Faustina, Pope John Paul II said, the cross, even after the resurrection of the Son of God, speaks and never ceases to speak of God the Father, who is abundantly faithful to his eternal love for each one of us. Believing in this love means believing in God's mercy. The love of divine mercy, a drawing of Jesus based on the vision given to Saint Faustina, shows Jesus raising his right hand in a gesture of blessing, with his left hand on his heart from which gush forth two rays, one red and one white. The picture contains the message, Jesus, I trust in you. The rays streaming out have symbolic meaning, red for the blood of Jesus, which is the life of souls, and white for the waters of baptism, which justifies souls. The whole image is symbolic of the mercy forgiveness and love of God towards each one of us. Today's uh, scriptures, the first reading taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 42 to 47, tells us how the early church grew every day because of the acts of mercy sharing sacrificial agape love practiced by the early Christians. And if we read the first few chapters of uh, Acts of the Apostles, we see how the first Christians, how the disciples after the resurrection of Jesus lived their witnessing lives. All those who looked at the disciples, the way they conducted their life, they said how beautiful it is to see brothers and sisters living together. This expression came in the mouth of those who saw the witnessing life of the disciples and first Christians because the first Christians lived their life after the witness of Jesus. They modeled their life to the teaching of Jesus Christ, sharing what they had with those who did not, loving people and living as one family and one community. In today's second reading, taken from the first letter of Saint Peter, chapter one, verses three to nine, Saint Peter glorifies God, the Father of Jesus Christ, for showing us his mercy by granting his son, Jesus, resurrection from the dead and, and a glorious ascension into heaven, thus giving us the assurance of our own resurrection. And today's gospel vividly reminds us of how Jesus instituted the sacrament of reconciliation, a sacrament of divine mercy, the risen Lord gave his apostles 
the power to forgive sins with these words whose sins you forgive they are forgiven them and whose sins you retain they are retained and this is one of the first commandments of Jesus after his resurrection when he met the disciples two things he constantly said peace be with you do not be afraid and the third was to forgive the sins of others the gospel illustrates and presents doubting thomas and his famous profession of faith my lord and my god this declaration by the doubting thomas in today's gospel is very significant for two reasons first of all it is very significant because it is the foundation of our christian faith our faith is based upon the divinity of jesus as demonstrated in his miracles especially by the supreme miracle of his resurrection from the dead thomas profession of faith is the strongest evidence we have of the resurrection of jesus and secondly thomas faith culminated in his self surrender to jesus his heroic missionary expedition to india in the year ad 52 and his fearless preaching and powerful testimony given by his martyrdom in ad 72 in india all those who listen to saint thomas all those who experienced and learned about the martyrdom of saint thomas decided to follow the way of the lord decided to become christians today as we celebrate this feast of the divine mercy jesus invites each one of us to profess our faith in his resurrection to become people who are forgiving and those who would like to experience the forgiveness of the heavenly father today let us pray during this eucharist especially that we may profess our faith as saint thomas did to call jesus as my lord and my god and may this profession of faith become a witness to all those who look at us and may inspire them to follow jesus in their lives and be merciful towards the others and experience the mercy of jesus let us profess our faith I believe in God the Father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen prayers of the faithful with trust in the divine mercy we now bring our prayers before the lord and our response be Lord in your mercy hear our prayer that the mercy of Jesus our savior may draw us sinners to the fountain of repentance forgiveness and healing for this we pray Lord, Lord in, in your, your mercy, mercy hear our, our prayer that God in his mercy and love stand by all who are affected by the 
COVID-19 pandemic, may he heal the infected, strengthen the healers, comfort the mourners, for this we pray. Lord, in, in your mercy, mercy hear, hear our, our prayer. That as the apostles shared all their goods, may we Christians share with those in need, in despair, those who are lonely, and the sick, for this we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That all priests may be compassionate ministers of God's mercy as they administer the sacrament of reconciliation given to us by the risen Christ. For this we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That all who died may come to share the resurrection of Christ and receive eternal life in, in, and happiness, light and peace. For this we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our personal needs. Father, we need your mercy. As you answer our prayers, fill us with the joy that comes from hope and grant us the life that conquers death. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice which we offer you. Lord, wash our iniquities and clean from our minds. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become 
the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore o lord as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice Look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his holy spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ May you make a vast and eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph our spouse with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant assistance in your presence we rely for unfailing help may this sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray o lord advance the peace and salvation of all the world be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant francis our pope and Rosario Menezes our bishop the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people we've gained for your own listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you in your compassion and merciful father gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life Give kind admittance to your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good Through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we pray the prayer with Jesus taught us, let us ask the Lord to make us bearers of his peace. and love our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, Lord, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace by the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ lead us to life everlasting. Amen. On this uh, Feast of Divine Mercy, Mary, who brought forth the author of life and author of mercy, may help us in this time of difficulty, especially the whole world which is facing the spread of uh, coronavirus. May she be part of every family which is confined to their homes. May Mary be close to every person who is infected. And may Mary lead all the souls who have passed away to the eternal joy in heaven, interceding for us to her son Jesus. We pray the memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of virgins. My mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. My beloved Mother, grant that I may have no other spirit but your spirit, to know Jesus Christ and his divine will, and to praise and glorify the Lord, that I may love God with burning love like yours. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continual effect in our minds and our hearts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you in his mercy and make you always aware of his love. Amen. Amen. May he strengthen your faith so that you will persevere in good works. Amen. May he direct your steps to himself 
that you may walk in charity and peace. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us remain in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Soften my heart, Lord, soften my